birthdays, anniversaries, successes or just a social get-together. There are many reasons to celebrate. It is quite usual that we consume alcohol during a celebration or a get-together. But even the nicest party comes to an end. If you are on the way home and want to avoid a rude awakening, be aware that for drinking and driving, critical values at a reasonable level are fixed by law which have to be respected. Most of us know the small devices which measure the alcohol content on your breath. But how accurate are these devices really? Professor Erwin Rosenberg works at the TU Wien and pursued this question. ACE, a company situated in Freilassing near Salzburg, contacted us and asked us if we can conduct a study in which the accuracy of breathalyzers built for private use is examined. There is a high number of such devices on the market which are similar in size to a packet of cigarettes and look like a mobile phone. But the question is, are the measurements of these devices reliable? After all, it will determine if I am still able to drive or or not. For this reason, we've conducted an extensive study over the past few months, in which we have tested many different models of breathalyzers, and as a basis, we used different principles of measurement. During the study, we created a breath alcohol concentration, as it is relevant in reality as well, and therefore used a simulator so that we could measure in a large number of repetitions. The result of this study was that many of the tested devices showed a very high degree of accuracy, comparable with devices used by the police in Germany, as well as in Austria, and well known from traffic controls. The advantage of this measurement is that it can be conducted very quickly by every police officer and with minimal waiting time, so that the person tested knows within minutes if he or she is allowed to drive further or not. The precision and accuracy of this measurement is of important relevance and influences whether or not one can keep the driving license or have it confiscated. Under current legislation, it is defined that in the case of a clear exceeding of the alcohol limit for drivers, you could lose your driving license for at least six months or for an even longer time, and you then have to attend an extra training and to pass a psychological examination. In Austria, since the beginning of 2015, there have been discussions about the launch of so-called alcolock devices. Such a device is, so to say, an immobilizer inside a car, which can only be bypassed if a breath test result shows that the driver is not intoxicated or over the limit. Of course, the safest way in traffic is to keep the car parked if you have consumed alcohol. So, if you want to get home safely, just use public transport or maybe take a taxi.